If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. When you create a switchboard form in Access, all you are doing is changing the form's function or purpose in the database. Instead of letting users perform data entry, switchboard forms let users click buttons or make choices in option groups that then run macros, which open other forms and reports, or perform other database tasks. Switchboard forms control the flow of a database application's screens in Access. While the navigation form types in Access lets you create switchboard forms and add buttons for navigation more easily than before, you can still manually create a switchboard form using this method for greater control over its properties. However, using the navigation form type in Access is faster and easier. To manually create a switchboard form in Access, click the Form Design button that appears in the Forms button group on the Create tab of the ribbon. Do not associate any data source with the form. Next, in the Form Design view, click the Gray Square Form Selector button in the upper left corner of the form. It is the small gray square located at the intersection of the horizontal and vertical rulers. Clicking it places a small black square into the box to show it is selected. That means the whole form is selected, versus a specific section or control in the form. Next, ensure the Property Sheet pane is displayed. To show the Property Sheet pane if it is not displayed, click the Property Sheet button in the Tools button group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. In the Property Sheet pane, you then change some property field settings to change the default aspects of the form which are commonly used for data entry. This lets you add images, instructional text and labels, command buttons, and other types of navigational controls to the form while removing the data navigation aspects. To start, click the Format tab in the Property Sheet pane. In this tab, click into the Default View Property field and then use its drop-down to select the single form choice. Next, click into the Allow Form View property field and then use its drop-down to select the Yes choice. Then click into the Allow Datasheet view and Allow Layout view property fields and select the No choice from the drop-down in each. This prevents the user from changing the view of your switchboard form. Next, click into the Record Selectors property field and select the No choice from its drop-down. Then click into the Navigation Buttons property field and select the No choice from its drop-down. This removes the Record Navigation features which are not used in a switchboard form. After making these basic changes plus any additional ones you would like, save the changes to the form by clicking the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar. Then add your desired navigational controls, command buttons, and on-screen instructions to the switchboard form. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.